Hi there, welcome to another episode of Investing with Blooming, where I answer your money questions in a few minutes. If today is the first time we're meeting, hi, I'm Blooming Amorin. My friends and fans call me Blooming, my money coach. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you a topic that has been on my mind lately, and that is buying a car on credit or taking out a car loan. As your money coach, I can tell you straight up that this is a perfect recipe for drowning in debt and financial stress, and I'm going to explain why. So I came across an article recently, and it highlights how auto loan delinquencies has been on the rise, and it's even higher than what it used to be pre-pandemic. This is a financial disaster that is waiting to happen. In the same article, I'm going to link it below, it also shows that the average monthly car payment is $729. This is insane. I cannot imagine shelling out $730 every month on an asset that goes down in value. Today, I'm going to share with you five reasons why buying a car on credit is stupid number one the overall cost of the car to you is usually higher than the value of the car and i'm going to explain when you buy a car on credit number one you end up paying more because of interest charges you pay interest on the loan that you take out and you and I know that interest is a thief because now that we see that interest rate has been skyrocketing, a lot of people are not able to afford the payment of these cars. They cannot because it's now way more expensive. By the time you finish paying off the car, you end up paying more. For example, maybe the cost of the car itself is $40,000 right then you take out a loan on this particular car the loan can be at maybe four percent five percent seven percent meaning that at the end of the payment of that car you can end up paying fifty seven thousand fifty eight thousand on a car that the actual cost is forty thousand dollars again Anytime you take out a credit, you take out loan just to buy a car, a depreciated asset, you end up paying more because of the interest charges. And as a smart investor, this is not a good way to build wealth. Number two, cars are depreciating asset, meaning that they go down in value over time. Whether you drive them or you park them in your garage, the value of that car keeps going down. The moment you drive it off the car dealership, the value has gone down. That is the way a car is being designed by nature. A lot of people think that a car is an asset. What is an asset? An asset is anything that puts money in your pocket. A liability is anything that takes money out of your pocket. When you when you finance a depreciated asset, it doesn't make sense. Meaning that at the end of the term of the payment of the loan, the value of that car is so much lower, lower than what you've paid for that car because that is a depreciated asset. It goes down over time. That's why buying a car on credit is not wise. Sometimes you hear some people, they will tell you that they are upside down on their car or they have negative equity. What does that mean? It just means that what they owe on that car is more than the value of that car. They might owe maybe like $52,000, but when they go to the market to sell that same car, that same car can just be worth $38,000, meaning they are upside down on the car. Why would you finance a depreciated asset? It's stupid. Very, very stupid. Number three, the financial burden. Meaning that once you sign up for this loan, there is always a burden on you. A borrower is always a slave to the lender. No matter what loan that you take out, you're always a slave to the lender. Meaning that you're going to keep carrying those burden through the years until you pay off that car. 
For example, now, if God forbid you were to lose your job, there's a stress. I need to pay mortgage. I need to pay car. I need to pay for the kids. I need to pay grocery. I need to pay that. But if you just buy your car up front, you don't need to worry about all of that. There's always a financial burden on you anytime you take out any kind of loan, especially car loans. Again, taking out a car loan is not smart. Number four, there's always limited flexibility when you get a car on credit. What does that mean? It means that you're committed long term. Some of it minimum five years, some of it seven years. Minimum that you have to keep shelling out 729. We've not even accounted for the cost of car insurance. We've not talked about the cost of um, gas, maintenance. Meaning that on average in a month, you can be shelling out a thousand dollars on an asset that goes down in value rapidly. So again, it's not smart. And apart from that, the same money, the same money that, that you're going to be committing long term into this is restrict a lot of things that you can actually put money into. You can be putting money into savings. You can be putting it into investing. Be because you've taken out a car loan, it restricts your flexibility. Number five, the opportunity cost of investing. You and I know that I am a big proponent of investing. If you're watching me and you're not invested, you're definitely doing yourself a disservice. Now is a perfect time to start investing. If you're not sure on how to get started, head on to my website. Head on to my website, book a session, and get started with investing. No matter the quality of the work you're doing, if you're not investing, you're definitely doing yourself a disservice, okay? Number five is your opportunity cost of investing anytime you take out a loan what is the opportunity cost of that we're going to use this example okay imagine you're paying $729 every month on a depreciating asset and instead of that you decide to invest it you can even invest it in the in an index fund okay just track okay this is historically what the stock market has been doing historically it's about 10 percent some years is higher but let's just say the minimum 10 percent if you invest 729 dollars every month for the next five years you're going to get over fifty seven thousand dollars over fifty seven thousand dollars if you look at the car that you bought it might not even be up to that it might not be up to that. And even after the five years, the value of that car would have gone down. Let's say, for example, that without deciding to invest that same $729 into a growth stock, maybe like Tesla, let's assume 20%. This is very conservative. You're going to be getting over $72,000. The opportunity cost, that is the money that you should have used to build wealth over time. Anytime you take out a loan, especially card loan, you're robbing yourself of the potential wealth that you can accumulate over the years. If you're watching me, you're like, oh, Blooming, I need to get a car. It's very important for me to get a car. I get it. Save up money and pay cash. You can get a decent car, $4,000, $5,000, $6,000. You can definitely do that. I'm talking about this from experience. And if you're watching, you're like, oh, I cannot afford, I can't afford to pay or save up to $6,000, $5,000. Then, my dear, get a hoopty. Hoopty, $1,000, $2,000. You can get a hoopty. Hoopty gets you from point A to point B. It might not have a hair conditioner, but it's going to do the job. It's going to get you from A to B until you can save up money and buy a more decent car. If you want to build wealth over time, never buy things that go down in value on credit, especially things like a car. To wrap up, why is it stupid to finance a car? Number one, you end up paying more for the car than the actual value of the car. 
Number two, a car is a depreciated asset, meaning it goes down in value over time rapidly. Number three is the financial body that it places on you because a borrower is always a slave to the lender. Number four is the limited flexibility, meaning that you're locked into this loan for at least five years. Number five is the opportunity cost of investing. If you want to build wealth over time, simply buy your car cash and then you can invest your body and let your body work for you in your favor okay so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below until then i'll see you later i'm blooming tomorrow your money coach bye bye